And moving on now to what has become the most confusing story in the news these days. And here's why. Because as compelling as this video I'm about to show you is, we just do not have straight answers on what we're seeing. Of course, we're talking UFOs again, or unidentified anomalous phenomenon, as the government calls it. And we just came across a very odd, very under-the-radar release of some videos and documents that I've been trying to get for years. Now, with no explanation, all of a sudden, Customs and Border Patrol has released 10 videos from what looks like forward-looking infrared cameras from different incidents, and an odd 380-some pages of reports, news clippings, and emails about people at CBP talking about UAPs. Uh, but there is a lot redacted, so it's hard to understand exactly what's going on. And some of it has to do with agents saying they've seen stuff and being scared of the whole stigma that comes with talking about UAPs. But the videos... The videos paint a more black and white picture, and at least one of them, this one immediately caught my eye because it's the same video I saw leaked years ago that I filed a Freedom of Information request to get my hands on. Never heard back. But among the UFO community, it is very well known. It's called the Agua Dia video. And again, there's no context released from the CBP, so I just want to show it to you so you can be left with the same questions I've been trying to get answered. Uh, what we're seeing here is allegedly from Agua Dia, Puerto Rico. And back in 2013, a CBP aircraft spots this thing that you're seeing right there in the middle of your screen flying over the airport, tracks it for several minutes. They're trying to figure out what it is. They just don't know. They don't have an exact size, but they think it's smaller than a plane. And they follow it as you see it there going over some trees, going over a road, going over some fields. It's heading towards the ocean. Now, we're going to fast forward just a bit towards the ocean because that is when things get weird. Here you see it dip down into the ocean, doesn't seem to lose any speed, then continues on, then maybe it looks like, I don't know, it splits into two or something, or maybe something joins it before it, 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 it they try to track it, disappears, uh, just gets lost in the water, and then they, they lose sight of it. And again, we haven't heard an official comment on what this is from CBP. There have been theories that this is everything from a pelican to a UFO that can somehow dip into the water without losing velocity, which is beyond anything we have. So what it is, we don't know. But it is weird, and you'd think someone would tell us what was going on since this happened back in 2013. And that's just one of 10 videos released. Some of them seem to show things like uh, floating objects over the border that could be anything from hang gliders to balloons to drones, from cartels maybe. But again, all of this is coming after promises by lawmakers, by NASA, by the Pentagon that they are taking this seriously and could have answers soon. So fingers crossed. And I do want to bring in one very special person. This is a person who has led to this very odd time in our nation's UAP history. He's former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, Chris Mellon, who has been pushing the government to disclose more of what we know. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I want to ask straight up, this release from CBP, what do you make of these videos being made public now? It's very interesting. I don't know why it's coming at this time, but it's very significant for a couple of reasons. This will help the public understand what our military personnel are encountering all over the world. We're getting on the Defense Department side 50 to 100 reports per month. And this is happening globally. It's happening overseas. It's happening off the East Coast and the West Coast. And this will help people better understand why Congress takes the issue seriously, why it's a national security issue, some of the challenges we're facing monitoring and controlling our airspace in the wake of the Chinese balloons, and of course the explosion of drone use around the world. So um, I think it's very helpful and kudos to Customs and Border Patrol. So I've been watching these videos uh, probably way too much today. And, you know, some of them, the Aguadilla video still kind of baffles me. Uh, and yet some of the videos that we've seen, they look like they could be a hang glider. They look like they could be a balloon. Mm -hmm. But all of this is being released without, like, any context here. Do you think that that's one step forward or two steps back? Or, or, or as you said, is it still progress in your eyes? It's absolutely progress in my eyes. I hope that the Defense Department and intelligence community are paying attention. These videos were released. People are not freaking out. They're not overreacting. It's helping to educate the public. They have many videos that are of a similar unclassified nature or were until they, out of the blue, created this new classification guide that made everything automatically classified. I don't think that's lawful. I don't think that's consistent with the executive order governing classification. 
but they're withholding a lot of similar kinds of videos from the public on that basis. I know this is kind of a technical question. I hate to put you on the spot, but do you know of anything that the United States has that can go from air to sea uh, without losing velocity? I I do not. Um, I will say that the Chinese recently demonstrated a drone that could go underwater and, and go back into the air. This, of course, I'm not suggesting this was necessarily a, a Chinese drone. We're seeing a wide range of things. It's important for the public to understand this is happening. It's happening a lot. And it's quite a, a zoo of different things. Uh, sometimes they're 50 foot wide objects that go at hypersonic speeds. More often, they're these small, uh, mysterious sort of things in orbs. And in, in your opinion, what needs to happen now? Well, I hope the uh, other government agencies will follow this example. When the public better understands what's going on, they, the national security community overall benefits, they get more support. This is also helpful to scientists because one of the things different scientists are trying to do, like Dr. Loeb at Harvard, is use machine learning to track and identify these things for scientific research purposes. And to do that, they need a lot of video to train on, uh, far more than this. But um, it, it's a great public service. I think it will help. I think it'll help people's understanding a bit and better understand the challenge that our military has in this era uh, when drones are so prolific and we're seeing these other very strange and extraordinary things. And here is hoping for some definitive answers soon. Chris Mellon, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.